learning has many connotations. In the general world, learning is the amassing of information. The more you learn, the more information you have. Today, because of technology, learning systems have made changes in a very substantial manner because you can access almost any piece of information you want. So the accumulation of information no longer is a necessity just to have that information. It's important to be able to integrate and to come to certain conclusions. But generally in secular world, you study the phenomena of what is and try to understand how it became that way and how we can advance it to the next level. <clears throat> Torah learning is a whole different experience. It's about learning what to do, how to behave, how to act, not only in your spiritual relationships, but in your practical relationships, how to behave as a human being in society, how to behave as a parent, a child, a sibling, a husband, a wife, a daughter, a citizen. What is the human objective? So learning Torah really is learning the mind of the architect who created this whole system. In the creation of the universe, most people are concerned with when was it created, whether 50 million, it started out with 30 million, and then it became 100 million, and then billions, and maybe trillions, and who knows when we reach the edge of the universe what science will conclude through their actuarial methods of figuring things out in many different ways interpolation or extrapolation, whatever way. However, the learning of Torah, or they want to know how God created. Big Bang, evolution, what was the mechanism of God's creation? The most critical question is why? Why are we here? What is this about? And therefore, learning tells us what we need to do to fulfill our lives maximally and to fulfill the lives of everyone around us. And that's why when we learn Torah, we talk about learning the wisdom of God. But the primacy is not the learning itself. The Talmud asks the question, what is greater, study or action? And the conclusion is that the study that brings to action. That's why when the Jewish people received the Torah at Sinai, at revelationary experience, they said we will do prior to saying we will study and we will understand because it's the behavior that's most critical, but it's learning that is necessary in order to know what to do. And so learning today is a fundamental need for any thinking person. And it's also interesting to note that the Torah does not only address the why and the mechanisms for a Jew to fulfill their process in creation, but for every human being to fulfill their purpose in creation. And so I would highly recommend that as you read these how-to books, these paper books, paperbacks that come out every single decade, there's another dozen that come out about whether it's diet or meditation or thinking or resting or healing, and they keep changing. Read the one book that has produced the extraordinary nation of Israel beyond all odds and over the top in every way. You, bet, you, bet, you have a better chance of winning the Nobel Prize if you're a Jew than if you go to Harvard. Because 27% of Nobel Prizes are won by Jews. Only 1% of Nobel Prizes are won by Harvard graduates. And to be a Jew, you have to learn. Many smart nations are catching on to it. Like, as you know, Koreans and other people are starting to think that it's the Talmudic, Socratic method that gives you that edge not realizing it's the mitzvahs that give you that edge. It's the Torah that just tells you what to do.